Whilst this is a channel that I typically try and keep light-hearted, for obvious reasons this will be a highly factual, highly serious video. In early 2022, images and audio were released of an alleged sexual assault by footballer Mason Greenwood. In the time since, the charges have been dropped due to a lack of evidence and a witness not coming forwards. However, an internal investigation from Manchester United is still in progress. It's important to note that Mason Greenwood has denied all of these claims throughout. The majority of people's minds are made up around Mason Greenwood, which means that I'm not going to speculate any further into the actions themselves. I have my own opinion, you'll have your own opinion. No one's going to change their perspective. However, what has recently emerged is Manchester United's attempted strategy to bring him back to the football club. I'm going to be setting out their steps here and running through the process a little bit. That is the process according to reports from The Athletic, who have heard from their own sources what Manchester United's plan was. Manchester United have since disputed those reports. Immediately following the charges being dropped, Manchester United announced an internal investigation that would take into account all the evidence they could get their hands on and have discussions with various stakeholders around the club. That included players, management staff, executive staff, Greenwood himself, and groups such as the women's team who reportedly Manchester United are waiting for their return from the World Cup to discuss more in detail. According to The Athletic, within one month of the investigation starting, Greenwood was seen at Carrington. This makes sense in itself, of course, he'd have to go to Manchester United's training ground and headquarters in order to discuss the specifics of his case. Of course, regardless of your opinion of Mason Greenwood, it's important to remember that it's vital that he gets his perspective over to the investigation as well, otherwise it's effectively a show trial. After all, following due process does remain as important as ever. Now, according to The Athletic sources, the club's CEO, Richard Arnold, in the first week of this month, being August, set out to the club's leadership team exactly what the strategy was for bringing the player back. Again, keep in mind that Manchester United did deny this, but the idea was that Chief Executive Richard Arnold would appear on a video discussing the case, the evidence, and why the decision came to pass. It would involve Mason Greenwood not making any appearances with the charitable arm of the club, the Manchester United Foundation, at least in the short to medium term, but he would be brought back to the first team picture. Now, this decision was initially meant to be announced on the 4th of August, but that seems to have been delayed. It's the 16th of August as I'm speaking right now. We don't know when a final decision will be made, but again, there's rumours that Manchester United are waiting for their women's team to return from the World Cup so they can properly inform them before making a final decision on Greenwood's future. The Athletics report also noted that allegedly Eric Ten Hag was positive about reintegrating Mason Greenwood with his squad, and in theory they believe, at least, it's the women's return from the World Cup that has delayed the announcement rather than anything else. Apparently the women's side won't get that much of a say in what actually happens, it's just a formality. The club itself also released a statement, and we're going to read that now just to make sure I get the wording completely right, I don't want to misrepresent anyone in this situation. So I'm taking it from the second paragraph down, partially because that's the most relevant bit that doesn't just set out context. Throughout this process, the welfare and perspective of the alleged victim has been central to the club's inquiries and we respect her right to lifelong anonymity. We also have responsibilities to Mason as an employee, as a young person who has been with the club since the age of seven, and as a new father with a partner. The fact-finding phase of our investigation is now complete and we're in the final stages of making a decision on Mason's future. Contrary to media speculation, the decision has not yet been made and is currently in and is currently the subject of intensive internal deliberation. Responsibility ultimately rests with the chief executive officer. Once made, the decision will be communicated and explained to the club's internal and external stakeholders. This has been a difficult case for everyone associated with Manchester United, and we understand the strong opinions it has provoked based on the partial evidence in the public domain. We ask for patience as we work through the final stages of this carefully considered process. To summarise, combined with the fact that the Premier League's registration deadline is on the 1st of September, it's increasingly looking like Mason Greenwood will be taken back into the Manchester United fold under Eric Ten Hag. This is from a combination of reading into statements and noticing that in that paragraph that I read first, they humanised him quite a lot, in addition to the fact that there's been a lot of buzz around the topic at the moment, so a decision is definitely just around the corner. Something else that the club specifically refutes but is in the Athletics article is the fact that apparently some people in more junior employment positions within the club don't feel like they can bring up these decisions with senior members of staff because 
of a like hostile environment. Again, the club refutes this, but this is the one decision where I feel like that would be as relevant as possible. That has basically been a summary of what's come out about the news today, what might happen with Mason Greenwood in the next few weeks and days. It's a fairly big update, but we'll see where it goes. I'd normally ask people to comment their opinion, but this is a topic where I feel like it's very much a legal grey area, so I'm going to suggest to not do that. I might even turn the comments off. I hope you've been informed by this video, and stick around for future ones. They should be more upbeat, positive. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.